everyone and welcome back to another video of me building on my new kid core, rainy kid core island puddle. Today we're going to be building a little area off to the left side of resident services and I didn't know what I was going to build here so I asked you guys for suggestions. Now I was suggested that I should build a little train station so that's what I'm going to be doing today and we're doing the tracks behind resident services and all that good stuff but yeah before we get started I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jelly Bean family. Now let's get building. So yeah, we're literally going to be building right here today and I've got this very beautiful, nostalgic looking train track that is from, I believe, the GameCube version of Animal Crossing and I'm just obsessed with how this looks. It's definitely perfect, it's got the bright colours to it as well, so that's why I've decided to use this train track today. I will be adding the plaza train on top of these tracks and I was planning to add carriages behind it as well, but I just don't know what to use and I don't know how to do it. I might do like some seats maybe later on and I'll have to go back and do that because obviously I've already recorded this video and I'm just coming up with the idea now so that's not very practical but yeah I'm not sure yet maybe you guys will have suggestions because I was literally blown away by the amount of ideas you guys had for this island on my first video for Puddle there were so many amazing ideas and I'm gonna try and build as many as possible if not all of them and you know what I would love some more ideas as well so if you haven't commented on the last video or if you have another idea since then please leave an idea suggestion for a build for this nostalgic kid core rainy day kid core rather island i'd love to read them i'd love to build them just leave your suggestions there i'd love to build as many as possible as you guys can come up with because you're just so creative oh my goodness but anyway enough about that let's get talking about what we are building so like i said i've popped down these lovely train tracks i just love how they look they look so 3d so fun and nostalgic and realistic all those good words and good things to describe it and then here I was deciding whether I wanted to have these fences here or not. Now this item is literally just called fence and you can pick this up from your Happy Home Paradise DLC shop I believe or Nook shop. You can just pick it up anywhere. But yeah it's just a normal item and not a fence item but I couldn't really make it work. This just wasn't doing it for me. It felt too like city like and then that's not what I want to go for for this island. I want some cute nostalgic builds from 2020 but make it kid core and fun and oh yeah it's not raining at the moment. It's much easier for me to not be building in the rain on most of the videos, it makes them much brighter and easier to see. So that's why I've decided not to always build in the rain but I will try and build in the rain some of these videos. But oh we're being interrupted, hello Annabelle what can I do for you? Oh, she's going to teach me aggravation. Okay, perfect. I love a bit of aggravation. There we go. We've just learned a new reaction, so thanks, Annabelle. <laughs> I actually quite like Annabelle. She's quite a nice bright colour and she definitely would fit in with this island if it wasn't a rainy day island. She's kind of cute too. But I keep calling her Annalise. I don't know why. I'm very surprised I got her name right today to be honest. Because I normally call her Annalise or Annalisa because I think that's one of the other anteaters. I'm not too sure. <laughs> you can't remember. I don't remember the anteater villagers for some reason. I feel like it's because I never have them on one of my islands so I never remember their names. Anyway, we are placing down some in-game pathing and this cute chalk code on top. Now I did use this in my first build for Puddle, so my entrance build. If you saw that, you know what I'm doing. You know what code I'm using. And by the way, any of the codes that I'm using in today's video can be found listed in the description down below. So if you see any you'd like to use on your island, you'll find them just down there, along with some of the creators that I could find who made these amazing codes. Behind resident services, I'm just putting a line of the flowers I'm going to be using around this island. So we've got yellow flowers, red flowers, blue flowers, green flowers, because that's the only colours I'm planning to use. They're so cute and they're definitely perfect for kid core. Back to the little train station area and I'm going to remove the fencing and the retro transportation stop because like I said it just isn't working for me so we're going to change it around a bit. I'm going to reuse the transportation stops and make like this little metal shed next to here. So one side is blue, one side is yellow and I think it looks kind of cute. Now we're going to just change up that train station to be honest. Apparently though I'm first going to carry on filling in this area behind resident services with the flowers because I didn't have enough in my bag at the time that I was doing it so we're doing it now apparently. <laughs> the cute little dotty in the background with her sandwich oh my gosh she's so adorable i wish i was keeping her but i have some villagers in mind that i'm having on this island already back to the train station and i've decided to place down some plastic benches i've customized them in three different colors and i think they look so fun and so adorable so i'm definitely going to keep those like this 
Then to add like a sort of wall back here, I decided to go with the hedge because it was just quite nice to have. I don't know why, I just really like the hedge. I don't really have a reason, I just kind of liked it, <laughs> that's why. I just want to pull these benches a little bit more forward so I can place a lovely cardboard box there and some more items in a bit when I grab them out of the storage. I decided to put a block stool there because I'm going to pop a little teddy bear or something on top. So it looks like that's the conductor or the ticket sales office. Actually, the little metal shed there could be the ticket sale place gonna go back and do that later on because that's an idea I didn't have but yep there we go come up with ideas while I'm doing the voiceover brilliant let's write those down before I forget see this is the fun part about this game I literally come up with random ideas when I'm doing other things other than building so yeah I do need to write them down though because I have a terrible memory and I'll just forget them so I usually just write them in a notes on my phone <laughs> That's normally where they go, and then they end up lost there forever, never to be read again. Also, if you guys can help me out, I'm trying to find a really cute train station sign to go on this street lamp here, the one with the banners, but I can't find one that's like cutesy looking, like colourful kid core wise. All the ones I find are very cottage core or rustic looking, and that's just not the vibe I'm going for, obviously. So if anyone knows an MA and also knows the creator, please let me know in the description down below, just let me know the code so that I can use it, because I think it would look really cute on that street lamp and it also would indicate that this is a train station so that's a plus. Now on the opposite side from the train station across the road I'm going to be building a little I guess parking area but of course it's not for cars because I'm not having the cars. It's going to be for the bikes and scooters, skateboards, tricycles that sort of thing. Now I've decided to go with the grass code in the middle there so it didn't look so plain and I just want it to look over the top colourful but I don't want to fill it too much with items which is quite amusing because you'll realise by the end of this video that my clutter core Heart just couldn't resist and decided to put down more items than I actually needed in this small space but that's okay it's fine we knew it was gonna happen now over here by the puddles we gotta add some leaf piles you knew leaf piles were making a comeback on this island I can't use them on snowdrop it's so unfortunate I wish we had leaf piles covered in snow or frosted leaf piles and I say that all the time I know but I really wish we did because then I could use them on that island too. I feel like the other colours would just look silly on Snowdrop, so I'm very thankful that I can use them on this one instead. So the items I've used in this small area so far are the ABD machine, which of course you can get your bells out, but I thought it looked more like somewhere where you can pay for your parking, so that's why I did that. We got a little grass standy there, and also a tricycle, a cruiser bike, a normal mountain bike, and also an electric scooter. And that's what we have at the moment, but I do go back and put in more, so there's that. Behind the train tracks, I wasn't actually going to do any more than what I'd already done, but for some reason I decided to do some fencing. So we're putting a line of hedges right along here, and then I'm going to be doing different colour park fences, just like I'm doing now, behind the hedges. I will be alternating the colours yellow, green and red, and I just decided those randomly. I thought they were quite fun looking colours, also colours that work with the rest of my island. And I just think it looks so cute, so adorable. Now I'm not doing the train tracks all the way along yet, because I'm not sure how far I want the train tracks to actually go or what I'm gonna be putting at the end of them probably a cave one end maybe something different the other end like a construction area so it looks like it needs to be repaired or that's just the end of the line I don't know I haven't decided I think this looks cute I think it came out adorable okay so we finished off the fencing now I'm gonna go back to the parking area I told you I would be adding more stuff now we have this stack of tires here which are customized in the colorful variation and they look so adorable and then I decided to add another tire then we zipped over on to the train station station itself and we've got this cute little sign which is part of the pocket camp set now if you didn't know if you link your pocket camp to your nintendo account it will allow you to buy these items in your nookstop shop and it's so cute you need to do it these items are adorable we also added a traffic cone and a blue ladder okay so the blue ladder doesn't actually end up staying there because i feel like it clashes too much with the blue train and i just don't think it looks right so yep let's get rid of it right now bye <laughs> and then we're gonna push the train up ready for some carts to go in that I didn't actually put in. And then we finished the build, so let's have a look around what we've done today. So there we have it, we have finished a Puddles train station and I thought it came out really really cute, I'm very very happy with it, so yeah, it's a win. Now if you enjoyed today's build, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, come and join the Jelly Bean family. Also, give me your ideas down below, I love reading them, love building them, so yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!